Scott, it is Thursday, August 28th. Uh, so pumped to be back, man. We out here. So pumped we to be out here. here. Yeah, we're yeah. trying something new. Um, everybody that's tuning in, so great to have you. We're trying these little bite-sized sessions now. We want to get straight to the point with our most actionable, valuable content as they come across our desk, as we're launching new features and talking about new concepts. And so today, Scott is going to take us through a concept that you've talked about a little bit recently, but it's just becoming more and more true, man. These big complicated courses no one's buying them man they're, they're dead no and so you tell tell us more about what no that one's buying them is. yeah listen like if you're out there and you're you know creator you by default like all of you guys are chasing down your passion you're building businesses you're building products you're building an audience you know it's like what are we doing if if any of you are in the middle of creating some and by the way like give me a guilty hand raise if you've ever done like the oh i'm making my product and it's like 12 months later you still haven't made it you know what i mean like if any of you are making these big behemoth online courses that you all of you, I'm sure every single person, if you like scroll through Instagram, you scroll through Facebook, whatever, you've got ads of people telling you, you need like a big course, right? Yeah. And I'm here to tell you that like, they're dead. Like let them go. They are mm -hmm. gone. They have been taken out back and like the market has killed them and something has replaced them. The good news is what's replaced them and all of you should immediately stop building a really big course and start building this instead. Start building a bite-sized first date product. We talk about that concept of like first date all the time. Yep. You know what I mean? Like define first date product. The way that I think about it is the first product that your customer is going to buy from you, you need to deliver some sort of immediate win like Bingo. some sort of value as quickly as possible so that they get to the end of it and they say, that was amazing. What's next? Exactly. Right. And they're ready to go on a second date, right? Like they're ready to go on a second. You have a good first date. They're going to have a second date. Mm -hmm. And so really quick, I'm going to pull up uh, some slides actually. So here's something that we train inside of accelerator, right? Um, but take this to heart. Okay. Here are three principles to a great first date product. Okay. Three principles. We'll blitz through this really fast. Yep. Um, number one, people don't want encyclopedias. Okay. Hmm. So when you go to make your product, well, well, number two and three are more, you know, actionable about like how to go make your, this is a don't, the other ones are do's, right? Um, don't want encyclopedias. Don't try hmm. to give somebody the full, everything you need to know about baseball, mm -hmm. everything you need to know about weight loss, right? Your job should be instead, okay? Like encyclopedias, they're boring, they're unhelpful, they're way too much work. You want a quick win, you want something bite-sized and small, right? Mm -hmm. Instead, you should solve one burning problem, yep. right? Like when someone has a toothache. If someone has a toothache, like that problem is so in their face, distracting to them mm -hmm. that like they've got to solve it. What is that for your audience? Yeah, your customer, they're not buying a course from you, right? They're not buying an ebook. They're buying a solution to their problem exactly. and they just want a solution. You know yeah. what I mean? You're not, you, they don't want to read through a long thing. They don't want to go through five, 10 modules of your course, right? They want a solution. Yeah, figuring you out for the first time for sure, right? But ultimately your job should be like, I need to go write down what are a bunch of these problems, mm. you know what I mean? And then figure out, okay, which problem do I think is really the tooth pain problem for my audience, right? Mm. It stops everything else cold. There's no limit to what you'll spend to go figure it out, right? Now I'm not advocating that you're gonna go spend, your first product you put in front of somebody should be, a thousand dollars quite the opposite in generally an accelerator we talk about this all the time is your first product needs to be inexpensive and easy to say yes to right yeah. first date product you go for coffee you don't you know what i mean you don't go on a cruise to the bahamas right sure. so and you're begging for a solution and so ultimately think about this for a second which one are you selling right and make sure that you're on the right here not the left right make sure you're on the right okay and then really principle number three and this is a fun one is to the best of your ability you need to put your audience's name on your product, okay? And like, this, this is kind of a, a funny example for this, you know what I mean? But if I came across, me, Scott Moran, came across a product that was called How Orioles Fans Living in Texas Can Learn to Play the Guitar, right? If you guys notice behind me, I got some guitars on the wall, faster than ever, right? In what world could I possibly scroll past that? You know what I mean? Like, cop, yeah. what is, give me a, give me a Brian Copperthwaite example of this. Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, if... I mean, really similar to that. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be pretty close, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe not yeah, the oldest honestly, thing. Maybe not I don't Texas live in Texas, one. but yeah. 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 Exactly right. You know, it's like you want to put their name on it. And when yes. you focus in and when this first date product you create is specific, right? And when it solves one problem, not all problems, mm. this is how it feels. It feels like this, right? It feels yeah. like it's got their name on it, right? Hey, recently divorced moms trying to re enter the workforce. Like, yeah. 
here's here's a great way to build your resume. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. hey, newly graduated college physics students who want to, you know, I don't know, like whatever. Yeah. I don't know what problem those people have. That's yeah, I mean, you, you talk about it in a really simple way. One person, yeah. one problem, and then exactly. one portion. Portion, portion, right? right. Exactly. And that's the first date product. No yeah. encyclopedias, short, sweet, to the point, right? Um, yeah. And so, you know, cop, we talk about this all the time. Here's one thing I actually, I would love to demo, right? Any of you guys who have typeset, I know a lot of the creator you world has typeset, right? Come check this out for me. Uh, cop, we actually, we demoed this a little bit in our last um, training, our last free session from last week, right? If I wanted to create this first date product right now, okay? Let's do this. Cop, give me like, yeah. Give me a market. Give me a niche. Like, I don't yeah, even... let's talk about um, parents with neurodivergent children. Ooh, I like that. that. Okay, awesome. All right. So, uh, you know, write me. Here's what we're going to do. Actually, cop, you explain while I type. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So, I, I mean, I've just had some uh, some people in this space I talked to recently. I've, you know, this this mother who has some neuro, neurodivergent children of her own, and she's just had a lot of success in some tactics and some, you know, things that she's done with her kids that she wants to share with other people. You know, a lot of parents are dealing with autism, you know, or ADHD or just other neuro neurodivergencies. And how do you navigate that? How do you stay connected to your kids in the midst of all of that? And so, yeah, I think that if you can prompt that well enough, you can get a great starting point, you know, for an initial first date product, even with what typeset is going to spit out for you right now? I love it. And so literally this new feature is called co-author, right? And so inside of typeset, this first date product, you can mm -hmm. literally watch. <laughs> this is going to be wild. This might take a second because the generate thing takes a second. But I just wrote a quick prompt. And all I'm going to do is just give typeset an idea of what I'm making. Write me a short ebook aimed at helping parents with neurodivergent, I think I spelled that right, kids Hard navigate work. learning yeah. how to read chapter books. Write this from, uh, write this from a purse perspective perspective of a trusted advisor with a lot of empathy for these parents right so i want mm. i'm just telling it how i want it to sound how do i want mm -hmm. it to come off right and i'll click generate the first thing co-author is going to do is generate an outline for this book and then we can kind of edit and we could maybe add a section we could remove some sections right mm -hmm. cop take a look at this would you yeah. remove anything would you tighten this Let up me at move all? my would screen so anything? i can see a little bit better hold on give me one second here i'm oh, sure i was going to say it's a little Not alone small. yeah empathy um, embracing common roadblocks, science of readiness. I mean, listen, this is great. Honestly, like generally speaking, they do a pretty really good. Yeah, I'm, I mean, at the end, maybe after 10 or replacing sure. 10, I would put a CTA there, you know, like ah, right. some sort Call of next step. Action yep. to uh, purchase my, you know, one on one parent coaching. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something like that. I help Call, parents one on yeah. one. Yeah. I do something like that. Right. Great. Here's my outline. And now we click generate, right? Typeset's going to do two crazy things. It's going to take this outline and it's going to physically write the book, right? So this first date product, I mean, it is literally, look at this. It is already writing it. It's going to bring in quotes. It's going to bring in images and, and it's designing the book, which is nuts. In it's real absolutely time. nuts. It's yep. cutting up the content. It's bringing in relevant images. It's going to, mm -hmm. you know, use different kinds of layouts. So it's not just some big wall of text, right? Um, it's absolutely bonkers what's going on. And this is all again, co-author this is inside of every typeset account you want to make a first date product this is the fastest way i know how to recommend doing that is yep. by using the new typeset co-author and it's got tons of training you can mess with it after you know what i mean we're just going to literally sit here and just watch as typeset just cranks out this content it's absolutely nuts man yeah it is insane how fast it's crazy to watch this honestly yeah. like it, it is this is the kind of thing we would have joked about 10 years ago. Well, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, even five years ago, I mean, it, yeah, it would take a long shit. time yeah. to make this, you know, yep. like you've got to write it all by yourself, you know, and then design it. And then design it. Designing is what takes forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's doing research. It's doing like, it, it's crazy. I mean, it's, what's funny too, is it like, you can even ask in the, in the prompt, like cite your sources, you know what I mean? Like use high quality sources. I mean, freaking look at this dude. Unreal. Look at this thing. It's done. Look. Unlocking chapter books for neurodivergent kids. Here's your intro. Here's this embracing neurodiversity, right? Pulling in images. Uh, it's breaking up into different chapters, right? I could at any point use the magic wand and say, all right, cool. You know, I don't like how this is laid out, right? Add images more, you know, there. like wherever you yeah. want. It's completely editable still. You know, 100%. it's not like this is the final draft. You can certainly... Yep. Go back and edit it, but yeah, I mean, this is themes, and the whole thing changes. Every single font and spacing in the entire book goes yep. in. Yeah, right. You're ninety percent there. 
Yeah. yeah. Absolutely wild. And then all you would need to do is click export, right? Export to a PDF. And there you go. You've got your PDF. You're done, right? Your first first date ebook, you slap a $5, $10 price tag on this, put it in your link in bio and start selling it, right? Don't sell encyclopedias. This is what you do instead. Give people one person, one problem, one portion, right? And you are going to get so many more customers. You're going to get so many more customers yeah. on the front end. And then if you give them a quick win, some quick value, they're going to come back to you. They're going to want to buy something else from you. Right? We talk about our accelerator coaching program a lot, right? Where basically we run you through this process and we run our blueprint for you, with you, right? Mm -hmm. So you come in and you learn and stuff like that. Anyway, it basically is, it's all, it's these five steps right here, mm -hmm. right? But the idea of accelerator, all of it centers around, this is what we teach you, right? We teach you exactly what we just showed, right? And then you get assigned a coach, you meet, you do weekly live trainings with me, right? And we run through this process well beyond just creating the product and doing all stuff. But the whole point, yeah. right, is to create a big list of customers, right? That's the goal. If mm -hmm. I can, if you have 100 paying customers, even if they've only spent five, 10 bucks on this, you know, this, this PDF, this first date product, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, which they don't, we've got whole things in here that talk about how to make more from those sales and all that, mm -hmm. right? You've got a, you've got a business that can scale as big as you want it to. You have exactly. the foundations of something that can roll. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the first day product is just, just the start, right? You're not going to make, you're not going to have a sustainable growing business if you just have one product. Yeah. You got to sell it. You got to keep attracting your audience and doing that kind of stuff for sure. So if you're thinking like, damn, that's what I need. Like that's the blueprint I want to run. Mm -hmm. Check out Accelerator. We'll put a link down below, but mm -hmm. we'll go ahead and cut this right there. That is this week's bite size Creator You free access training. Don't sell encyclopedias, right? Sell one product, one bite size first aid product to one person is covering one problem, right? Get after it guys. Go build those things. We'll, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Let's go.